Welcome to Richmond Public Library. I'm Hannah and we have a really special guest today. This is Lucy. Lucy is a 12 and a half year old cockapoo. And parents, did you know that for some children, reading aloud to a dog can be very calming and it can prepare children to be ready to read because dogs are very non-judgmental and always loyal, right Lucy? So if you have a dog at home, go get them and read out loud to them. And if you don't, that's okay too. You can use a stuffed animal. All right, ready to sing the hello song, Lucy? All right, we'll start to wave to everybody at home. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Well, it's time to say hello. Well, that was fun. We used some sign language. We took one friend and another friend and they gave each other a hug. And here's another sign, more. Do you know which song this is coming up next? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause my friends are your friends and your friends are my friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, that's wonderful. All right. Well, sometimes children can use sign language when they're very young and they can learn signs such as more, a simple sign, even faster, sooner than they would be able to use their vocal cords. So it can really help in language development. So. Today, we have a wonderful book called Dear Zoo by Rod Campbell. And we're reading this with permission from Schuster, Simon and Schuster. Are you ready? I wrote to the zoo to send me a pet. They sent me a, what's in here? Let's open it up and see. An elephant? Oh no, he was too big. So I sent him back. So they sent me a, hmm, a giraffe. Oh, he was too tall. So I sent him back. So they sent me a, who's in here? A lion. Oh, look at that lion, Lucy. Oh, he was too fierce, so I sent him back. What's next? So they sent me a camel. There we go, Lucy. Oh, come on back, Lucy. And he was too grumpy, so I sent him back. So they sent me, who's in here? A monkey, a monkey. Sit, sit, Lucy, sit. Oh, but this monkey was too naughty, so I sent him back. Let me pause and give Lucy a treat. I have one in my pocket. Sit, sit, woo, it's so much fun. Okay, so they sent me a boing, a frog. Oh, boing, boing, he was too jumpy. So I sent him back. Boop. So then they thought and they thought and they sent me a dog. Right, Lucy? Just perfect. So I kept him and I loved him forever and ever, right? So, all right, I think we're ready to sing a song. Do your 
ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you toss them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? All right, well, it's time to say goodbye. We'll sing our goodbye song. Come on and sing our goodbye song, Lucy. Come on, sit. I've got a treat for you. Come on and sit. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Well, it's time to say goodbye. But before we do, I also want to talk about getting some great dog books at the library through your ebooks nowadays. So you can find Clifford, the Big Red Dog, and lots of other friends. So I miss all of my story time friends very much, but I will be waiting for you back at the library. Bye.